Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I was recording this episode back to back with the last one that we just did. So yeah, we got the Orion, took a lot of damage in the last mission, we lost one of the racks. Um, but when you're facing a couple of uh, um, dire wolves, you know, you're not always going to get out scot-free. Uh, we did get some okay salvage out of that though, um, and some good sea bills. We were able to bring um, another mech forward here. So we got the Stormcrow Prime forward now. Uh, it's going to end up being the uh, uh, Griff's mech for now. Um, that's the one he started with. Uh, two ER larges um, and uh, two ER medium pulses. So it's going to be okay, I think, um, for what mission we're going to plan on doing today. So let's go to the command center. Um, so we left the planet, uh, actually go to star map. We left the planet here still partially under wolf control. They got like 27 left. So we're going to take a mission here, which I think will squash that real quick. So we're going to go to contracts and we're going to take a retribution. And it is against clan wolf, 313 salvage. Not that great salvage, but good payout. Um, and it is against clan wolf. So bonus for Jade Falcon, negative for wolf. We're going to go full salvage. Uh, we've got lots of good salvage here. So let's accept that. Don't really need the sea bills right now. I mean, we do have six Clan XL engines that we could sell, and I plan on running mostly Omnimex, so we don't need tons of XL engines. Uh, we need at least one for the uh, Orion when we get enough sea bills to be able to put it in. We need a couple of million sea bills to do that, uh, but I'm not worried about that right now. So let's deploy this lance and get it done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Let's find this lance and light them up. Yeah, it's not that bad. We've seen worse. Okay, so it could just be one lance up here. It could be reinforcements. I don't know. Uh, keeping this hill might be a possibility. Um, so the big change in the lance... Actually, let's just get some speed over here so we can get some eyes on. Um, the biggest change in the lance... Um, well, there's a couple changes. You notice the uh, Timberwolves changed out here. we got four ER larges. Um, so that's one change. Uh, took the auto cannon out. I wanted to get NSS's in as many of our forward line mechs as I could. Um, Night Gear didn't really need it uh, because it is our LRM boat. Um, not that worried about it. Uh, that plus I needed to have the clan case in there so in order to do so I had to have clan armor. So if we can find clan stealth armor that'll be wonderful. Um, hearing vehicle over here. Uh, if we can find Clan Stealth Armor, that'll be great. Uh, but barring that... Yeah, when aren't hostile reinforcements heading my way? Zora LRM. Arctic Wolf Griffin, not so bad. Arctic Cheetah. Arctic Wolf. Okay, so as I was saying... Uh, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, if we can find Clan um, Stealth... Uh, I want to get that. I didn't take it last time in the salvage, but I think I will this time. But the goal is to move slowly with our, our stealth, like NSS uh, and void armored mechs, just to see if we can get the same result we were getting with the Night Witches, where the enemy just couldn't see us. Wow, this is like super heat efficient. For the mechs that we're facing, it's perfect. We don't have any targets that are, like, clumped up here. Huh. That's a pretty good chance to hit, I'd say. Take that one. Strip some armor off, cause a bit of a fire. Okay, let's move up here. So, the other thing that we changed... Yeah, we got a guy behind us, eh? Clan Pike Support Vehicle. Alright. Uh, the other thing that we changed is we did put the command console in the Timberwolf D. D or C? C. C for command. Um, and took out two ER mediums and a, and a uh, heat sink. And we're running heat neutral. Well, we, <laughs> we would be if we weren't just firing the ER mediums. Oh. Copy that, Commander. Ah, uh, one hit. Okay. Whatever. But it's still a hot mech. Enemy see, they're not moving. Either because they can't see us, 
or they don't have a movement pass set. Let's just wipe this guy out. Target neutralized. I think if I had to choose a weapon in the game that was probably the most versatile and had the biggest bang and for heat management and for everything else, I would choose the clan ER large laser. I'm just a huge fan of this thing. I'm sure you guys can tell just by the number of clan ER larges I, I put on mechs, but um, a really, really big fan of them. Okay, we're not going to move very far. NSS's work great if you only move a couple of hexes. Really? <sighs> Shoot this guy instead. I forgot to check the heat out before we fired. How do we do here? Yeah, not too bad at all. Yes, Commander. I don't think we need to move. We should be able to splash damage the other guy. Uh, let's do it now, because why not? Firing. So I'd like to get some swarm missiles, LRM swarms. Um, first of all, they're kind of like dead fire. They, they do 25% more damage. These guys can't see us. Uh, they do 25% more damage, which is great, but that's not the reason why I want them. I want them because if they decide that the missile, like if the missile decides that it can't actually hit its target, it'll try and target another um, mech within like, um, I think it's like 100 meters or something like that. If there's another mech within 100 meters, um, or another unit within 100 meters that um, it, it can actually see, it will then veer off course and go after the other vehicle. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, I don't want all those ultras firing. Let's confirm this. He's getting too close anyway. Incoming! Affirmative. So yeah, that's the reason why I want the swarm. Hopefully we can find some soon. Uh, can you actually target the guy from there? No, you can't see the pike. You can if you back up a bit, so we're going to do that. I'm there. And you're in the range of large improved. Yeah, see, this the heat sinking is way better on this guy now. Oh, did we get him? We got him. Okay, nice. Frag the vehicle. Oh, that's the pike. Receiving you. They can't see us, man. I'm totally 100% convinced they can't see us at all. They're not shooting it. They're not shooting or doing anything. Grip the stiff. If you sprint, they'll see you. But you can't actually see anybody at this point. Well, let's just move. So please, developers, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this, um, have the mechs move anyway. Even if they can't see an enemy, they should move. It's just standing there, it's not doing any good. Now gl granted, our lance is rated five skulls. We're against a three skull That's mission here. But still, I mean, Commander? they're just standing there. Bad chances to hit, but they're just standing. Finally getting some movement.
What if the Pegasus got eyes on Griff? That is a huge possibility. Get rid of my heat. Fire at this guy. Okay, nicely done. Griffin has come out of cover. Let's hammer him. Roger that. So it's definitely a different game than I was playing before. I mean, you guys know my style. I like to move in. I'm a fast mover. You know, get in, hammer people. But this is just a slower paced, like, just shoot people game. All weapons are go. Certainly a different feel, that's for sure. But you got to think about it differently too, right? So we already hit this Octor Wolf back here. That's a lot of SRMs. Buddy took a bit of splash damage. Critical hit, Commander. It's a lot of stability lost. Not as much as it was from that long time in Night Witches, man. If you haven't watched the episode, see what the stability damage looks like with that thing. Holy crap. Why move? Solid connection. Come on, you know you want to bail out. Can't get shot down here. Yep. Yep, let's hit this guy again. Although we're going to warlord it this time. And fire. Yeah, I'd love to have the uh, swarms. That taste? Yeah, he's on the ground. Commander? Oh, the weapons! Ah, go! Got you. Oof! Bam! Target down. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Yeah, they can only see the storm crow, I think. The fact that this night gear is just hasn't moved for the whole battle. I position him and that's it. He's just not <laughs> he's doesn't need to go anywhere. I'll just stand there and shoot people. What the hell? Yeah, see he's taking two of these arrows and he's like fully unstable now. I wish I had more missile hard points and I could just like Mix them up with LRM fives and stuff, because then I could just target the one guy. That guy's. Let's just hit this guy. Um. Oh, I love the nuclear explosion. Goodbye. Because then you could just fire the arrow, destabilize everybody, and then just use. Um, just go ahead and use the. Uh, LRM fives to knock people down. It's going down. Who gets the kill now? It's pretty much whoever goes next, I think. Yes, Commander. El Duce and Mockingbird are pretty much the same DPS output. Roger. Goodbye. Yeah, the NSSs, man. Just, I think they're just too powerful. Mission successful. Now, having said that the NSSs are, NSSs are just a little too powerful, I think we wait to see what, they, what it's like against a uh, five skull mission with heavy max like direwolves and stuff. See how that goes. All right, let's see what we get here. So a lot of junk. ER larges, which we've got a shit ton of. We got light tags. Got four of them. I know, someone keeps telling me, I can't remember who it is, they keep telling me I should be putting light tags on all my guys, and they're probably right. 
they're probably right. That extra plus one to hit can't hurt. Wow, this is just all garbage. It's just all garbage. Um, Jesus, what's worth the most? Six hundred thousand. I don't even know, man. Oh, these are worth a fair bit. Um, and let's grab two Arctic wool pieces. We've faced so many of them, we should be pretty close to finishing one up. All right. Um, yeah, totally not worth it, but we're flipping the planet, keep it in Jade Falcon's hands. That's the most important thing. Okay, uh, we took Albion from Clan Wolf. Excellent. 10,000 in repairs, which is really nothing. It was all on the uh, Storm Crow Prime. So let's get this back up and running here. Five days. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, see how much we did here on this planet. Don't know if it'll immediately show up. Yeah, they're down to 2% now. Who's here? Okay, Dark Angels. All right, cool. Uh, gatekeepers. Pretty low skull rating. I wonder if we jump here. It's half skull. A little bit of Jade Falcon control. 28 day jump, though. It's going to be a tough travel to the inner sphere, that's for sure. Um, 100% Clan Wolf. Let's help out on Gatekeeper. There's a travel contract available. Let's see what we got here. In contracts. Letter of Mark. Let's do it. Wolfian Battalion. Negotiate. How? 20 day jump. Uh, how many days? 17 to the end of the month. Can't do that. So let's take another mission here then. Arr. Well, we'll just er eradicate Wolf off the planet. Let's go not for a four and a half, because that would be bad. Repost, probably not. <sighs> Government. Defend base. That'll be an easy defend base for us. Uh, local pirate organization. Man, pretty uh, slim missions here. Defend base. All right, let's go with this one. Let's defend the base. Should be no problem. And it's against pirates. So... Let's go again. Let's go for sea bills. We'll leave a little bit of salvage, but let's go for sea bills. And it's going to cost us what? Almost two hundred thousand to drop. All right. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well. Incoming pirate units from this side. Most likely to be guys from over here, too. Extra support. Where are the vehicles? Down here. Okay. Let's see if we can move to get eyes on here. Just get you here for now. 
basically a mobile artillery. Come on, you guys, get the hell up here. Assassin? Shit. They got lowered armor. Wow. A friendly structure has been destroyed. That's some bullshit right there. It's kind of sad when that shit happens. Like they put us here to defend the base and then the enemy's like already within point blank range. Really? We can't even see them to shoot on them in the, on turn one. Alright, let's finish this guy up. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Back destroyed. Aye, aye. What is up? It's a bushwhacker. Here, whack this bush. Got it. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, baby. Welcome to the jungle. There we go. Turret's online. So I'm thinking... I'm going to give the... Um, Orion to Mockingbird. What I'd love to have, eventually... Um, is a mech that I can... Uh, put four Rack 5s on. If it'll fit. Three for sure, maybe four if we can get them. Give it to Mockingbird. Because that would be crazy. A hit. Panic level critical. You got it. Well, you got an ER large laser left. I don't know why you're worried. Come on, what are you guys doing? Targeting the buildings. That is their job. Come on, turrets, do your job. Fucking Shadowhawk now. Hopefully he'll move in the open we can kill him. See, I don't mind them just targeting the buildings as long as we're here in enough turns to be able to intercept them before they get here. Ooh. All right, finish this guy up. Going down. Got it. Okay, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Shot him the hell up. He's going down. Oh, he bailed out. Oh, he died. Well, bail out, die, same thing. Okay, we gotta work on this guy now. Oh!
coordinates received. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he caught him in the head. <laughs> Enemy down. He is already down, but that works too. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in oh, they're coming from up there. There gotta be more than just them, though. No, well, the edge of the base is there. Maybe someone from down here. I don't know. Got a crab, exterminator, a ghost, and a ghost. Yeah. Now, let's leave these off, but we'll just drop an arrow around on them. Didn't do a lot of damage, but I'm hoping for instability. It's ba oh, yeah, see, there's guys down here. Phoenix Hop, I'm going to marshal. Let's get back this way. Sure. Yep. Uh, we're just going to reserve. Save the bigger guns for after these guys move, and we should be able to hit them easier. Calliope turret, really? That's kind of cool. this thing got in it? A pair of LRM-20s and a pair of large pulses. Interesting. A pair of Thunderbolt 10s. AC-10. Okay. Yeah, let's just reserve. Don't need to push it at this point. Don't know if they can see us. The Griffin didn't fire, so... The Nova CEWS, the minus 50% sensor, uh, and then the another minus 30 from the uh, NSS system pretty much makes us invisible. If they can get eyes on, it'll be a different story. But I don't know. We're pretty much hidden. Come on. They're probably trying to find a firing solution, but like they can't find us yeah he's backing up that's what they should be doing like if they can't see us they should just back up either that or go right after the buildings not knowing that we're, we're here yeah Come on, you guys. We must save this planet from the 2% clan wolf influence. These priority missions are awesome for uh, clearing out the enemy on a planet. Come on. Yeah, they can't see us. They just can't see us. Standing by. Yeah, let's just fire at this guy. Firing all weapons. Keep walking it back. Just stay out of their range. Sensor range, that is. Ready for orders. Same guy. Fire and four. Want him to come out of the trees before I use my uh, warlord. 
That way we can maximize the damage we do. Plus, we're not heat, we're not heat inefficient right now, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, they just can't see us, so it's like, what do they do, right? They're trying to calculate what to do, but there's like no enemies. They should be firing at the turret. Oh, you can see me though now. Oh, I'm narked. Better sprint back. Gonna sprint back here next turn. Okay. Wonder if I disappear from their sensors by doing that. All right, what do we got here? 50, 28. Nope, this guy firing. All right, we hit him a few times. Hey, PM explosion. Commander. Oh, they should not stay together, should they, Del Duce? See, this is the only guy that you want to use, this Warlord, as soon as it comes up, pretty much. Oh, wrong guy. I was thinking, oh man, really? Solid connection on that I was thinking, um, blockade. Just step back. Roger. Moon, walk in. Blockade, as soon as it's up, it's pretty much you want to use it. Yeah, moving close. What do you need? Everybody get close together. Nice and close. Sure. Yeah, fire. Reporting critical hit. Can't even see what the hell's going on over there. It's so much damn fire. That's the point, though. I think. Loving the environmental effects. Not taking a frame per second hit, which is, I mean, not any more than I normally would on a jungle map. Not sure why that is. It gets a little slower on these maps. Come on, you guys. Mr. Marshall. Marshall McLuhan. The mech is the message. Not sure if you guys have heard about Marshall McLuhan. You should check him out. I'm sure I've mentioned this before in the past. Sounds familiar. He's the whole media is the message guy. He really was a pioneer. Wasn't a very good father, but from what I understand, but he was a really good pioneer. Thinking about media and how it affects everybody and stuff. It's a good person to go and look up and do a little bit of reading on. It was confusing when I first took the uh, whole idea of like, the whole media is the message idea. You, you think about it at first, you're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Is he drunk or is he high or what's going on? And then you start looking at what he was saying and you start to understand what he's talking about. Anyway, I'm not going to go into it. You can just go read up on them. Yeah, those guys, as long as they want to stay in a group over there, I'm happy with that. God, I love the new environmental effects. Thank you so much, guys. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the uh, guys at Hairbrains, or the, sorry, the people at Hairbrains Schemes made a fantastic um, Battletech game. I think it's great. I love it. Um, but they really should get <laughs> start talking with the people from Rogue Tech and have a variety of different modes in game. 
Um, so you can play with this full experience or just turn on and off what, what things you want. So if you want environmental effects, turn them on so you get fire and smoke. If you don't want them, leave them off. If you want the full experience, um, like canon experience, you know, then you can do that. Or you can go, you know, all mechs, all variants, all craziness, like, like Rogue Tech is, which I absolutely love. But yeah, they should really get together. Think of what could be accomplished throughout. Like you could have campaigns for all of the uh, major houses and a clan campaign. Like you could, the, what you could do is just incredible. It would just take writing and a bunch of missions, right? Like I didn't mind the, the, the main campaign, but because you're in their periphery and I understand they didn't want to affect canon inside uh, the inner sphere. So, you know, creating a whole new realm and things like that. Oh, I better watch out. Um, I totally get that, but then there's the, the fun aspect of it too, right? It'd be kind of cool to be running similar campaigns on like uh, border worlds, for instance, right? So, you know, it, it could be uh, Federated Sons in Corita, where Fre the Federated Sons are the bad guys, but it's only local space, right? Like a handful of planets and you can run a mission that's based on your family and whatever and it just the idea is that um, the missions are is that it involves you and your family your family's the ones that are, are um, uh, basically like in the Arano restoration your family is the one that's de depossessed uh, and then you spend your time trying to um, restore your family's name and it could be against you know a Corita or could be could be against Federated Sons, whatever, right? Enemy mech I think that would be cool, and it could. I mean, it could. All the campaigns would be very similar. Just it would be a little different based on where you are from, right? Um, let's target this crab. See if we can get rid of him. I copy. Whoa! Only two hit, huh? Move over here. On my way. Blockade, we've got some people that need your attention down here. My way. These guys think they can shoot buildings. Let's tell them that that's not okay. See, it's not okay, guys. Not okay. Not cool. Okay, we're running cool now. Like, you could do so many different campaigns. You could like be, have one in the Free Rasselhag Republic, on the edge of of uh, the uh, like the Rim Worlds, and then like you know then the clans attack. And your idea is to survive the clan attack. That would be kind of cool. Mech is on fire. Screw you. I'm not a writer by any means, that's for dang sure, but um, I can come up with scenarios, no damn problem. I like the idea of like, um, it's nice to have the Argo and say, hey, you know, you're carrying around 50 mechs on this ship or whatever, and you can load some into the uh, Leopard and drop down and stuff, but it would be nice to have like a home world where you basically store all your stuff be a little bit more realistic that way you still have the Argo you can carry around X number of mechs on it so like for instance the ability to carry 18 mechs in a leopard is ridiculous um, but you know being able to upgrade your leopard to like an Orion class um, or a uh, overlord class dropship to increase the number of mechs you have would be kind of cool
And the easy way to get around the leopard dropship coming in is just to remove the animation at the beginning. Like like the beginning of this mission didn't have a drop or leopard dropship animation. If you had an Orion, you just wouldn't have the uh, the dropship coming down and taking off. The mechs would just be there to start. That way it looks like your dropship has landed in the distance and you've moved to where you started off. <laughs> this guy's got pieces falling off him. He's going down. These guys picked the wrong base to fuck with. You'd think though at this point they'd be all like, okay, well, this was a bad idea and they would just leave. Well, that was a lot of misses. What the hell, guy? Yes, Commander. Let's try and take advantage of this Location confirmed. guy here. This be yeah. Nicely done. Tango down. Commander? Oh, the weapons are go. Really bad chances to hit, but whatever. Commander. Blockade's gotta teach stuff. Sorry, I just <laughs> watched Guardians Guardians of the Galaxy part of it with my wife last night. Affirmative. And it's the whole uh Captain's gotta teach stuff. The the line is just so hilarious. That one's gone. Anyway. Blockade's gotta teach stuff. Teach these guys is not a good idea. Learn them good. Look at this smoke. It's fucking awesome. Come on, four rounds left. We gotta kill these guys in four rounds. We don't need reinforcements. Hopefully they evacuated these buildings. You're gonna attack a base, guys. You don't bring lasers like that, especially if it's on a hill. Missiles are the way to go. So I do have a question for the uh, game developers. I don't know if you're watching this, but if any of you guys are watching, um, will the uh, the uh, like see he's not avoiding the heat. You know, will they avoid heat from the fires? They should see this as a terrain that they shouldn't be moving through. Oh, nice shot. They should see it as terrain that they should not move through. And they should avoid the heat if they can, if at all possible. But it doesn't look like they're doing that. So once again, it's just going to be advantageous to the player as opposed to the enemy. I mean, let's face it. Pirates aren't the brightest guys in the world. But, you know, if it happens with, you know, clan or inner sphere uh, regulars, it's going to be different, right? Alright. Um, who gets the nuke? Probably you. Since you got, like, nothing left. Nuke dumb. I know, it's more like a bunker buster bomb, but still, I like to say nuked him. I'm old school. I was around when the Cold War was still going on. It's not like it's not going on anymore, but it's just different today. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Going down! I think you're gonna die by turrets, buddy. That's my guess. Death by turret. You just relax. You just relax there for a bit. Waiting for orders. Finish this guy up. Take this. Nicely done. That's a kill. Everybody's just fighting for kills now. 
Oh, death by vehicle, even worse. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 30%, which is awesome. Needed that to cover our drop costs. See, everyone was fighting for kills. I blame my 55 ton mech for only getting two, but everyone else got three. It was nicely done. Let's see what we got here. Okay, bushwhack. Wow, well, we don't need any of that stuff. Ghost parts. Meh. Meh. We got what? We got two, eh? We got one salvage, Jerry. I don't know why I said two. Kujan Mamoron. Uh, let's have a look down here if there's anything good. Oh, 300 XL engine. That's pretty good. I think it's probably going to be the 300 XL unless there's something amazing down here. Uh, patchwork material, sensor tracker. That's most likely what we're going to want to use. Stealth, eh. Yeah, let's go with this. This uh, The accuracy on this is just awesome. So we're going to take this. Yeah, well, ghost part, ER large laser, some stuff we can sell. Not bad. Okay, seven grand for the repairs, which is really nothing. Excellent work. All right. Orion and 14. Well, it'll be in less than that. I don't even know if we should be taking it. Like, if we ever have the C-bills for this, I don't know if we should take it. I don't know if this is worth it. I know. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. The black markets. Is it worth paying two and a half million? Because we're disliked, we're disliked by these pirates. So, is it worth getting the black market access? I don't know. I mean, uh, I can't see it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think though, from what I understand, you can get mech parts on the black ac uh, black market. Um, maybe rare mech parts that you normally wouldn't find. So that's a possibility. Um, but we're not really buying mech parts anyway. Although I do want to run a campaign where we don't um, actually take any salvage at all. Uh, we take all C bills, and all we're allowed to do is buy stuff. Whatever, whatever minor number, like one or two items that we're given, we keep. And then, but all we do is buy stuff in the store. That would be kind of interesting. So mech parts, we'd have to buy in the store. Like it would be a long time before we can assemble a mech. In that case, most likely I would put the salvage down to. Th to uh, three to assemble a mech because it would take forever to to um, get parts of mechs but it would be easier just to buy pieces of them so that would be a possibility but I, I don't know maybe the next next campaign I run I might do that we'll see all right so we're gonna leave the episode here um, let's have a look at the star map real quick before we go I think we got this a hundred percent now we've done our good deed for today yep Jade Falcon 100 percent nice it doesn't give them a launching part like point off to get into uh our interior here nice juicy jade falcon interior um so that's going to help out a little bit here uh this is still 100 percent okay so how are we doing over here not so good maybe we jump to lum next episode i mean we're not going to get a lot of sea bills out of that uh i don't know we'll see how it goes it's 20 day jump might not be worth it or sorry, we're on LUM, jump from LUM. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But it'll give us time to get the Orion back and get it updated. So, I don't know, maybe maybe we do that. Plus we got, like, a, like I said, a lot of XL engines that we could sell. All right, leaving the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.